Hi everyone, um, it's been a really long time since I've last done this, so I think the last time was uh, November actually. So I'm trying to catch up and do an update on what's been going on. So I have actually dyed my hair, um, sort of a purplish red colour, which was in order to raise money for my uh, Ghana funds, so uh, I could go with my, the rest of my XLP team to uh, Ghana. So that's going to be really exciting stuff to do some work uh, in there and just see the uh, life ends. I've, I've been told that it's changed a lot of people's gap years in their lives actually so it's going to be really interesting to know what happens and experience it all. Um, also did a two mile swim which was done in an incredibly slow time but it was done in the end and money was raised so I'd like to thank everyone that uh, donated uh, their money and sponsored me for the things that I did. Um, since being back for the new year it's been really difficult um, because of both things that have happened during my youth work and also uh, in my social life. So, <clears throat> sorry, uh, youth work, another young person was killed and when I found that out, that was during the holidays, so I was back in uh, Portsmouth at the time. So when I heard about that, my heart just sank and it was difficult to know, it was difficult to understand why something like that was happen and my emotions were all over the place because, okay, I didn't know this young person properly, the fact that it was in an estate that I work, worked in, it was just horrible to know and it upset me so much and it's been a massive struggle, you know, and I mean we did a uh, prayer walk and we went to the area where um, he, his uh, life ended and <clears throat> it was horrible. It really was. I mean, the memorial was there, all the flowers and stuff, but it was horrible to, to see and just stand by. It just wasn't right, just to know that a potential life, a person who could have had so much going for them in the future and could have contributed so much to other people in their lives, just lost. And it was difficult to take that in. And also things have been happening uh, in my social life and also I've been questioning whether I'm actually a decent youth worker at all. I mean, I haven't had enough experience, which makes me silly for thinking like this, but it just happens. I just want to be able to provide the best I can f for, my, for the young people. So <clears throat> I know I'm silly for doing that, but that, I mean, that's how I've been feeling. Um, and that's when my team come in, my uh, borough team. They've been so, so supportive um, and I cannot thank them enough for all they've done for me throughout this gap year. They are the most incredible blessings that I've had in my life, uh, especially during this gap year. And I think, in all honesty, without being offensive to any of the other teams because I mean I think everyone in XLP is absolutely brilliant but I think if I was in any other team mm. I th that was not like the team that I've got at the moment I think I'd struggle quite a lot because this team is one of a kind and <clears throat> yeah they're it's difficult to actually describe them because they are that wonderful and incredible to me and I, I just find them an absolute blessing. I think that's the one word that I could describe them with is blessing. They are one true blessing to me. So yeah, um, what was I going to say? <clears throat> yeah, well, actually I think that was pretty much it. Um, oh, no, 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 no there wasn't. Um, I think I've been finding it difficult to relax and actually give myself time where I'm not, because I feel the need to, 
either work or be around other people. I think it's now come to a point where I need to actually realise that I need to spend time to myself and also rest. And this is shown in the Bible so much where, especially with Jesus, he tells his disciples to go ahead without him and he stands back and just prays. He gives himself time to himself. And like the in the Old Testament, everyone had a break on the Sabbath. It was just, it had to be done. And so it made me realise that I need to actually rest and give myself time with God where I don't feel that I have to pray with other people, that I pray by myself. I don't have to read the Bible with other people. I pray to myself, uh, sorry, I read the Bible on my own. I don't feel, I, don't, I shouldn't feel that I can only do that. I can do both. I can do both. So I'm really trying for that. I'm also trying to actually relax because I love the idea of work and I don't like the idea of relaxing. So I've got to try and get a balance between the two. So yeah, hopefully I can do that. It's going to be a struggle, but I hope it will happen. Um, I mean, I, don't, I know I don't do this often enough, but I mean, I try to do it when I can. And I mean, if if interested, please check out um, beyondfoundations.wordpress.com. I know it's a little bit of a cheesy advert to put in, but it's got some other stuff that I've written in, which I do uh, usually every Saturday, every uh, fortnightly. So uh, please check that out. Otherwise, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.